it in my garage because it is too cold to be out there transplanting some plants. And remember, I have been growing some mustard greens on my windowsill. So look how they look now. They have gotten so big. So now it's time for me to transplant them out of these cans. And this is the other one. Transplant these out of those cans and put them in their new home. So that's what I'm doing today. I have seven of these and I thought I would bring you along for this wonderful journey. So let me get situated and let's get these things planted because these things have been growing inside my house and I'm sure they do not like this cold temperature that's out in this garage. So let me bring it down and show you exactly what I am going to do. All right, so I have already amended the soil with um, that they will be going in. So let me take them out of their containers. I'm gonna try to be as gentle as I possibly can. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me see, yeah. Let's so back you up a little bit so you can see. There you go. That's a lot better. So I'm going to take these out gently. I'm going to grab them and let them fall into my hand. And then I'm going to lay them down and I'm going to gently separate them one plant at a time. Let me move this out the way so you guys can see better. So I have a total of, I think that's two, this is three, so I have a total of four plants. So I've already made a hole in this container and I'm just going to sit this bad boy right in that hole. I'm just going to push it down gently. So I don't disturb the roots too much. Let me see if I can get you guys closer so you can see. Too much. And then I'm going to take this extra dirt that I have. And I'm just going to put it around so these plants can stand up. All right. That's the first one. See? My red mustard green, that's one. All right, let's do the second one. Making a good little hole. And I'm gonna take this one and grab its roots. I got some really good roots. I'm gonna put it down low if I can and not disturb too much of the root of the plant. See, even though I know some of my plants outside is taking a hit because of the cold temperatures and stuff, I still am growing food for my family on my window in my windowsill. And I haven't even tried those um, grow lights yet. So I will be embarking on that adventure soon because... Um, I'm going to be starting my pepper plants here soon because I don't know about you guys. I know pepper plants take a long time to get going. So I have got to start getting them and get them started so they'll be ready when it's time for me to put them outside. See, that's number three. All right, I got one more. Make a big old hole in this bad boy. I'm going to scoop this. Look at this plant. Isn't that a nice, healthy-looking plant? Look at that. And grew from seed on my windowsill. So I am just going to keep growing. If I can't do it outside, trust and believe Miss Renee is going to be growing inside her house somewhere. And I told you last year that I inspired to have... Uh, inside growing area other than my windowsill so um that those grow lights that miss kimberly root shoots and gardening boot um sent me i cannot wait to use them all right so i have two more 
that I'm going to plant up and then I am going to water them in really well and then I'm going to put them back on my windowsill and then I'll come back and let you see the final product. Guys, I got them all planted up. They look fabulous. Now I'm just going to water them in. I'm going to go and get some more of these little trays that I get. You know, when you do takeout, they give you those little trays. These are perfect little trays as watering trays. So I want, from now on, instead of watering at the top, I will be watering at the bottom. And this is how they will sit on my windowsill. And they will continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I have got a surprise to show you guys. So let's go check out the surprise. Guys, are you ready for the surprise? Well, here it is. Remember that uh, mustard green that I was growing in my um, windowsill? Look at it. It has gotten so big and beautiful. And I think it's time to harvest it. What do you guys think? As you can see, I still have my gingerbread house in the back that I just can't seem to get rid of because I think it just looks so festive there um on my table so cute right all right well let's get back to this beautiful mustard green that i grew from seed on my windowsill just look at it it is ready to be harvested beautiful guys let's take one more good look at this mustard green that i grew from seed before we go ahead and harvest it. Look at these leaves. They're just so beautiful. Look at that. And I can't believe I grew this on my windowsill. So when somebody tells you cannot grow food other than outside, you tell them, oh, yes, you can. Because Miss Renee grew a mustard green on her windowsill. And she started it from seed. So, oh yeah, you can grow food inside your house. And you don't need grow lights, hydroponics. Not saying those things aren't great, but they are. But if you're not able to have that, you and you have a, a windowsill that has good lighting, you can grow something. May not be a lot, but it's something. So let's go ahead and harvest. I'm going to harvest the outer leaves you hear the crunch look at that this is so pretty i hate to harvest it but i'm gonna saute these up today for my dinner so let's take this one beautiful turn this around and we're going to take all the lower leaves and we're going to leave the top leaves there I'll get this one. Get this one at the bottom. We'll turn this around. We'll take these two last leaves right here. And I'll take this last one here. You know that's just fresh when you can hear the crunch. Look at that. Beautiful. Look how healthy and green that they are. So I have taken all the lower leaves. So I'm going to leave these three top leaves. Plus there is another one growing right there. So it's still going to grow. So I wanted to show you guys that it is possible to grow inside your home. And let's see our harvest. This is what we just harvested from my mustard greens. Look at that. That's a good little handful. Good looking bouquet of greens. So I'm going to saute these up for dinner. And I am going to enjoy it. Alright guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you're having a blessed day. And don't forget... You can grow things inside your house. It starts from a seed, turns into this, and then you're able to harvest and reap your, your rewards. All right, you guys. 
take care.